Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're checking out the brand new H9E Plus 4K TV from Hisense. And this is the 2018 version. So Hisense reached out and said, would you like to check this TV out? This powered by Android TV. We're like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I want to thank them for actually sponsoring this video. And let's take a look at what we have here. Now, this TV is powered by Android TV. It's a 55 inch and it retails for $599. So this is a bang for your buck TV set and it does provide a lot of benefit. First off, design-wise, you can see really thin bezels all around. So you've got this really nice silhouette. It's got really perfect thin bezels matching at all ends. This is, of course, an edge -less TV. Uh, you've also got a really nice footprint, very small footprint with the, two, the stands, which are quite easy to set up. So it took me about 10, 15 minutes to actually set that up. And setting up the TV software-wise with Android TV was much faster than I expected. You can do it now um, through your phone. Uh, the process is really fast and easy. And once you're good, you, you set it up, uh, you're good to go. Really fast and simple altogether. Now, this TV supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So you've got, of course, uh, the compatibility for any of the formats. So if you're watching Dolby Vision stuff on, say, Netflix, you can easily do that with this t TV set, which is also pretty nice. Now, speaking about content. Now, as you guys can clearly see, I'm an Arsenal fan, and watching live sports on this TV is really good. Surprisingly so, I know. You're thinking, okay, it's $5.99. What do I, am I getting for this? I gotta say, though, I was quite impressed with that. Now, I can't show you some of that because it's gonna be flagged by any copyrights, but I was truly impressed with what I actually got from this TV set. Now, in terms of gaming, that's another aspect I wanna cover with this TV that I think you absolutely love and you'd be surprised. It does suppose 120 hertz, so you're getting some really fast, smooth motion on this TV. I got to play Forza 4 Horizon, and that game looked really, really nice. The colors did pop out well. It supports HDR as you expect from the Xbox One. Um, this thing looks really nice and sharp, really clean. Uh, the graphics really popped out on the game as well. So while driving around with the game, it looked so nice. Now, other game I played also was Call of Duty uh, World War II. It's got a much muter uh, color palette, but those also came out with this TV set. So going into the game mode really gives you a lot of those functionalities. And it's got a lot of picture modes there. You've got theater, you've got sports, especially as I mentioned earlier. Um, you've got also vivid mode. You've got uh, calibrated mode, so you actually calibrate the TV as well. You've got four Harman Kardon speakers, two on the back, and two downward facing to give you better sound. And the TV speakers have a couple of functionalities. You've got uh, D T DBX TV modes, so you can go in there and change everything from standard all the way to late night, so you can drop that volume down so it doesn't disturb people while they're sleeping, or user mode, which is basically a customized mode for you on this TV set. And you also have a wall mount setup because it's got uh, basically the woofers at the back of the TV, so how that actually works in dispersing sound. So they've thought of a lot of things here. Now getting down to the software, this is running Android TV. That's something that I have not loved that much in the past. I do like the update here on this TV, but I do wanna see some more things. The update here has been pretty good, easy for you to navigate. You've kind of got your apps just in a linear fashion. So you can go from your favorite apps, which you pin on top, to what's playing next, uh, to uh, Netflix, to play uh, the Play Store, HBO, and so on and forth for you. Just kind of scroll up and down and left to right between whichever content you want to watch. Now, changing the inputs, you have to do it software-wise. It's not on the remote control, uh, but you can go ahead and change those inputs. And there are actually four inputs on this TV. You've got uh, two of them, which are HDMI, uh, which are uh, 4K capable, 60 frames, uh, 60 FPS. So it actually says it on the back and there's a 4K 30. So your Xbox One, for instance, and your PlayStation, you wanna put it on those two as well. Now the remote control is simple and easy. The one thing you notice when you look at it is at the very top, we've got options for Netflix, Sling, Fandango, Google Play, YouTube, that kind of stuff. So quick access buttons there. You've also got your Android button layout, your home, your back, your uh, play and pause, and you've, all, you've got this um, directional pad area uh, on the top. There's a menu button and also there is a Google Assistant button which you can actually use. Uh, to call out content you're looking for so you can actually state that clearly. There's a volume button, channel button. Again, very simple remote to use. Used, watching content on this TV, I was quite surprised though how good it was. Now, again, it's edge of the TV, so, and also the nit ratio is not super high, so that's something that you should take into account. But for what you're paying and what you're getting, I, I would say it's 
pretty solid so far altogether. So I think a lot of people will like what this TV has to offer and bring. Now, if there are any downsides to this TV set, a couple of things, it's not as bright as I would like it to be. That's the first thing I'll mention. Uh, but uh, something, of course, to recognize, of course, with this price point. The other aspect, too, is, of course, Android TV. Now, that's not what Hisense made. That's what uh, Google supports here. Uh, Android TV is good. It's improving. I want it to improve more. I think there's a couple of things that you need to do where it feels much smoother and easier to use. The menu system has gotten better, and I think that will help. But what Hisense brought to the table with the TV content in terms of functionality, in terms of also uh, the way the TV looks, especially with just live sports and gaming, looks really nice. Uh, I think a lot of people like it. So if you want to find out more about the Hisense H9e Plus 4K Android TV, definitely use the link down below to get some more information on this. Again, this TV is just $599 for the 55 inch, which means you're getting a good bang for your buck. Uh, live content looks really good and games look absolutely fantastic.